Let's start with that travel rush. All right, here's where we are. Millions of people are eager to make it home for Christmas. And here's the scene inside Reagan National Airport this morning. The TSA says today will be one of the busiest of the entire holiday season, expecting to screen roughly two and a half million passengers. As for the roads, this is what it looks like right now on Interstate 4 in Orlando. AAA warning that tomorrow could be one of the worst days for drivers nationwide. Of course, the big question, will the weather cooperate? And there's good news for many of you. Much of the country seeing clear conditions this morning, except in parts of the Southwest, where heavy rain could cause some delays. We've got it all covered for you this morning, including Dylan's all-important forecast. But let's start with NBC's Tom Costello, who is at Reagan National Airport for us once again. Tom, good morning. How's it looking so far, buddy? Hey, guys. Well, listen, I got to tell you, uh, we have a lot of crowds, but things are moving. Take a look at video. I just saw a shot a few minutes ago on my iPhone of the long lines here at Reagan Airport extending all the way out towards the parking garage. Nationwide yesterday, TSA says we had almost 2.7 million people flying. We could meet or exceed that today. So this is going to be yet another very heavy, heavy travel day. 39 million people flying over the course of 14 days. They brought out the dogs here at Reagan Airport to move these lines along even faster. The dogs sniff for explosives. That moves things along. People can keep their uh, shoes on. Take a look at the flight aware misery map. Good news there. Not a lot of misery this morning. We're going to start in Boston. Not much going on in Boston this morning. That's good news in the Northeast. The red lines mean delays, not significant. Go down to New York City. Same thing. Pretty good so far today. And then we're going to go down to Miami. Again, looking pretty good. I'll tell you that uh, we are looking at the possibility of some problems later in the day. We're talking about ground stops possible in Phoenix, in L.A., and also in Palm Beach. Yesterday, L.A., really a problem area. L.A., San Diego, Santa Barbara. Dallas slowed things down considerably because of the weather. Hopefully that does, in fact, pick up today. Total yesterday, if you're flying, 4,000 delays. Not many cancellations, really. Only 108 cancellations. Today, already, we're looking a heck of a lot better. Flight Aware reporting just a few hundred delays right now nationwide. Only a few dozen cancellations. So the weather really has been cooperating, with the exception of Southern Cal, really ex cooperating. It's volume right now. Volume, volume, volume. Lots of people moving through the system. The FAA has opened up military airspace to keep things moving along and also more high-altitude uh, highways in the sky, if you will, to accelerate and speed along everybody who's trying to get to a grandma's house for Christmas. Guys, back to you. All right, Tom Costello starting us off there at Regan National. Tom, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.